How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 15 shootout commentary. And this time, I want to talk about the Washington Capitals. To me, one of the biggest tweener teams right now in the NHL. I, I look at them and I compare them to like the Vancouver Canucks. You know, a team that was very good a few years ago and still has similar roster players, but for some reason, you know, well, not for some reason. It's quite obvious what the reason is. It's just time and age. Some players are getting a little bit older, and other teams from around the NHL their young prospects, you know, getting better, catching up to these teams, right? And I look at Washington and Vancouver as two teams that fit that profile. Um, and you know what, Washington this offseason signing guys like Brooks Orpik and Matt Niskanen, that reminds me of kind of like the Toronto Maple Leafs from a few years ago uh, when Brian Burke was the GM, you know, going out there signing guys like Mike Komisarek or, or Tim Connolly to these ridiculous contracts. And you know, when I think about it, it's clear to me anyways that if you want a successful team in the NHL, it's got to be built through the draft. It really does. And the Washington Capitals, you know, they just, they look like that team is, it's like a year or two away from a full-on rebuild. I don't know when it's going to be. It could, it might not be this year. It might not be next year. They could make the playoffs this year, but I just like, I don't know what it is about them, man. They just don't seem like a playoff bound team to me. But they have so many amazing trading assets on that team that a playoff bound team would love, like a Joe Ward, a Troy Brower, a Brooks Like, all right? Now, hang on a second. We've got to focus on the shootout a little bit. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Ooh, nice little backhander. But you know what? I don't know. I want to hear from you, Washington Capital fans. Again, I don't get to watch them too much. I'd love to see Alexander Ovechkin traded just to see him in a new uh, uniform, like a Nashville Predators or the New York Islanders or Detroit Red Wings. I think those would be great fits for him. But uh, I don't know, man. He could he could be a capital for life for all we know. So let's do a, a Gordy Howe with him, all right? The great eight. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. You know what? I actually shot it back to the right side. But his arm just got right. Uh, did I shoot it or I lose it? Nah, he got it. Good stack the pad save on Ovi. Is this the year that Alexander Ovechkin gets traded? I'm waiting for the day, man. Honestly, I think that's all he needs. He needs an injection of a of new team. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's all a player needs. Oh, sometimes that's all a player needs to start going again. I'd love to see him on a new team. Something about the Washington Capitals, man. Nicholas Backstrom's good player, no doubt. Andre Burakovsky getting the chances here. He looks, he's looking good, no doubt. Your defensive core on paper looks pretty good, but I don't know. Come the end of the season, I just don't think you guys are going to be in the playoffs. All right, Burakovsky, here we go. Through the legs. Through the legs. Oh! <laughs> trying to go through that legs into the net. I'm trying it. And how is this Andre Burakovsky guy doing? I haven't got to watch him at all this year. Is he playing with Alexander Ovechkin and Joel Ward? I mean, that's why he's got some points. Just pass the puck to Ovi. Let him fire it all day. What do you got for me, P. Kane? What do you got for me? Oh! He went back to the backhand, and he scored it 5 hole. Yeah, it went in. No, did he go? Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice camera angle right there. I couldn't even take a look at it. Yeah, I, he had me on the backhand. I went way across, and he shot it back 5 hole. Normally, you don't see that. Nice little goal there, P. Kane. All right, I got to focus on the shootout right now. We'll talk about the Capitals after. All right. Nicholas Backstrom. What do I want to do? Uh, Left-handed shot. Let's try it out. Here we go. Here we go. What the hell? Oh, man. Don't lag on me now. Don't lag on me. Oh, the lag screwed me up, boys. That's my story. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's not over. <laughs> Never give up on the play there, Corey Crawford. Never give up on the play. And Nicholas Backstrom. Let's see. Did he think it was over? He just dove. And I put it right in the middle of the net. Yeah, no messing up right there. Perfect. Marion Hosa, congratulations on the 1,000 points, son. What do you got? Oh, get the hell out of here. I've yet to do a flying poke check. You think uh, think the last shot, it'll work for me? If I score this, save... No, if I let him... Okay, okay, okay. I should not score this, save it, and it sets up the superb man shot. Yeah, okay. So I should purposely miss this one. All right, let's try something fancy then. Yeah, let's try something fancy. I'll definitely miss, don't worry. I'll miss, I'll miss, I'll miss, I'll miss, I'll miss. Oh, oh, no, shoot it backwards, you idiots! <laughs> I thought when I hit the goalie, I'll automatically kind of like lose the puck and it would drift into the net. How do I shoot it backwards there? Damn it. Maybe I got a dangle or something like that. I thought I thought it's once you connect with the goalie. Damn it, man. I really wanted to score that one. All right, you know what has to come here, boys. Flying poke jackaroonie. There you go. Yeah, kick your leg out all you want there, P-sharp. It's not going to matter. What a flying poke check by Brayden Holpe. And how is Brayden Holpe playing this year? Is he playing good? They need him to play good. They need a they need a star goalie on that team for damn sure. All right, number 90. Johansson, another super Swede. All right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, no, I picked it up. Well, bingo, bongo, Johansson. Damn it. 
I didn't mean to pick it up. And the Washington Capitals, they beat the Chicago Blackhawks. So again, I want to talk a little bit about the Washington Capitals here. Because they, to me, they feel like a tweener team. You know, a team that was at the top of its game just a few years ago. But they haven't gone through a rebuild or a reload, in my opinion, to prove to the NHL that they belong at the top. They may make the playoffs this year. That's fine. That's all well and good. But I just don't see them going up against a team like Chicago or, or L.A. or Boston or even Pittsburgh and doing anything in the playoffs. All right? I mean, Ovechkin, no doubt, is a superstar player, but it's that bomb from the point, right? They need... I just I think they need a complete rebuild. They need some some depth down the middle. Yeah, you got Backstrom, but Burakovsky down the middle, he's still a kid, right? Uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov, he's still a kid. He's like your third line center. And Michael Latta, I don't even know anything about. I want to see some more depth down the middle. But uh, you know what? If you guys do decide to go down the route of a rebuild, the trading assets that you have on this team, I mean, like I said before, Joel Ward, all right, Troy Brower, Brooks Like, how about your defenseman? Uh, I don't think you'll be able to uh, unload Niskanen or uh, Orpik because you just signed them. But a guy like Mike Green, who's got like eight points in eight games played this year, you know, I'm sure a team would love to get him come the trade deadline, right? Uh, you got you got players like that on this team. So I want to know, Washington Capital fans, do you want to hold on to these players for your own playoff push? Or is the writing on the wall and it's time to go for that rebuild? And if it is time for that rebuild, is Alexander Ovechkin trade bait? I want to see the day where he's traded. Is it going to happen this year? Let me know, Capital fans, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>